the Angel Saga. Okay. Now it starts with, well, prequel sort of stuff. Then it goes into the Chronicles of the Children of Destiny. Then it goes into Rebirth. And then it goes into the final part, Truth to Tell. And the Chronicles of the Children of Destiny essentially, apart from the prequel stuff, gets the ball rolling of what, what the, the, the universe of the Angel Saga is about. Rebirth is a kick in the pants. It's like, a, you know, okay, they, they've done their sarcasm. They've done their life. and All right, boom, kick him off the butt, get him going again. But truth to tell is sort of more of a leveling out. Truth to tell, I think, is sort of like, well, this is what you actually get from these characters over their eternal life. They've had their pinnacles of glory in their youth worked out all the champion escapades which they've gotten up to, then they have had another kick of a bum in in uh, Rebirth and we're sort of, okay you know, born again as well but you know, Rebirth, a, a, a new fight fighting it out again and just seeing what's left of them, and then Truth to Tell I think is leveling out of where they actually are over their eternal life where, 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 where the natural behaviours are, what they're really like on, on an internal basis. After the days of pride, the secret to their life is a So it's, um, and truth, the truths which they've learned, the truth they have to tell, I suppose. So it's more of, um, they've leveled out, and this is what you get. Now, naturally, truth to tell doesn't have to go on forever, because there's only so many words in syntax. But, um, it's sort of, yeah, that's essentially it. It's it's what they what they ground ground themselves on in their eternal life. So it's probably a lot more regular of a life, sort of like going to the pub on the weekend and going out for a picnic and all sorts of sort of more basic lifestyle options is probably what they're really about. Because once people are over the highs, they get down to a regular sort of life. I think. Well, after they're over, over the highs and adventures of youth. They settle down into a more regular pathway. So I think that, in the end, truth to tell, I think what I will do is it's a far more, far more sedate and regular lifestyle. It doesn't mean there are not high periods, because life, probably in the eternal, not that I wouldn't know that much yet, but generally life in the eternal probably has a few bits of adventure in it. Uh, but normally it's a, probably, you settle down as it were. That's what we're taught sort of in life, the mentality that the teachers say, that when you settle down. After you've sort of had a bit of rambunctiousness in you, you settle down and you get on with things. So I think truth to tell is probably more of a case of settling down and getting on with eternal life. So that's, I think, what I'll structure it as. And um, Rebirth is meant to be as long as the Chronicles of Children and Destiny, and truth to tell is meant to be as long again. So the Angel Saga comes in three main parts, even though there's a bit of prequel stuff and maybe some associated stuff, but it comes in three main parts, and I think Truth to Tell is the culmination of it, and it, it, the final stories really just end with just life in general sort of stuff. 